Hi, this is Don McAllister, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online for iOS. Over on this week's Mac show, I went through the setup process for Office 365, Microsoft's new subscription service that gives you access to the 2016 versions of Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote on the Mac, as well as one terabyte of online OneDrive storage and 60 Skype minutes each month. The Office 365 subscription also includes the ability to install all of these applications on up to five Macs or PCs and to allow up to five people to have their own installation. It also includes the ability to install the iOS versions of the apps on up to five iPads or iPhones. However, the iOS apps are free apps and they can be used without an Office 365 subscription. Now you will have limited functionality, but you can create, edit and save documents locally to your iPad or your iPhone, or to your iCloud Drive. Now for this show, I'm going to assume you've decided to take advantage of an Office 365 subscription to allow for the seamless transfer and access to documents between your Mac and your iOS device using OneDrive. So let's start off by going across to the App Store. Now I'm going to start off with Microsoft Word. Just search for Word or Word for iPad and uh, you'll be able to download the application. It is a free application, uh, some limitations, but it is free. You can download it and try it. But you really do get the benefits, uh, or rather all the benefits of Word on the iPad if you do have an Office 365 subscription. It's a fairly big application. I'm going to leave it for a couple of minutes to download and then we'll take a look at setting it up on the iPad. Right, so that's now downloaded. Uh, it's about 340 megabytes, hence the long download times. Uh, lots of five-star reviews. People do seem to like uh, Word on the iPad. Let's go ahead and open it for the first time. And then we'll get some opening screens, one subscription, multiple devices. I can just swipe across. Changes are saved automatically. You can switch off autosave if you want. There is a setting within preferences. Uh, work together and co-author, and then across to the sign-in. Now, as I say, you don't necessarily need to have an Office 365 subscription, but I'm going to presume that you do have, uh, even if you're just trying it out. But I'm going to go ahead and sign in, and I'll use my uh, account that I set up on the Mac show. I'll hit Next. It's a Microsoft account, and I need my password. Okay, we're now ready to use all the features included with your Office 365 subscription. So let's start by creating and editing documents. Uh, some new features in this particular version, version 1.11, bi-directional tech support, view protected documents, and sharing of files. But we'll just say done to that. And if you've seen the Mac show, I presume most people have seen the Mac show where I covered this, you'll notice some uh, striking similarities. The template gallery is pretty much the same as uh, on the Mac. And from here we can create a new document, either a blank document, or we can scroll through and have a look at some of the templates, select some of those. If I tap on my account at the top, I can see the account I'm logged in as. You can log out at this point as well, by the way, if you want. If you do need to sign out, you can sign out at that point. Uh, I've got my OneDrive personal account connected. Again, that's the one terabyte of storage that's been set up when I uh, took out my uh, Office 365 subscription. I've also got the option to add an additional service, which could be another OneDrive account, a OneDrive for Business account, or because I'm on the iPad, I could actually add in my Dropbox account. Now, if you do try and use it without an Office 365 um, account, it doesn't look as though the Dropbox option actually turns up for you. So you do need to have the subscription for that to appear. But I'm going to say cancel for now. Uh, we've also got options to access recent documents. So Don's newsletter, which is the document that I created on the Mac show, is available to me. I've also got the option to open. So I can open things locally from my iPad, but by default, it defaults to my OneDrive account. I can go to my documents folder on OneDrive, and there's the newsletter. And there's the newsletter file I created before. I can tap on there. It will download it to my iPad and give me the option to edit. To get the full version of this tutorial completely for free, as well as immediate access to over 500 other Apple-related tutorials, all you need to do is visit seofree.com to register for your 14-day, no-obligation, free trial Screencasts Online membership. So that's seofree.com to register for your 14-day free trial membership. <laughs> 